Hi guys, it's Will again. Um, today I want to do a brief tutorial on another feature of DipTrace Schematic, um, which is really neat for organizing your schematics into um, you know, sort of sub-assemblies. So if you've got a really complex part or component or series of components that you want to sort of break away and just worry about the inputs and outputs from that, then you can do that using what's called a hierarchical sheet. So the first thing you have to do uh, is add a sheet. And this sheet here, let's just say for the sake of an example, we'll call this our power supply. And we're going to have this as a hierarchical block. So what we need to do, go to the edit menu, sheet type, hierarchy block. So this sheet here now is what's called a hierarchy block. And what we can do using these little buttons up here on the menu, we can place a hierarchy connector and we can you know, move and rotate those as usual. And from there we can name these. So let's call this V supply. We'll call this ground. And we'll call this uh, 5V. And let's just build a really basic L7805 regulator. Um, and And if we just find one here, and pretty messily we'll just connect that up with a few caps. Not worry too much about values or anything like that, or making it neat. Um, and oops, having some issues with my mouse, but that's okay. All right, so. Once that's connected up, so you can see we've got our three different terminals. We got V supply, five volts, and ground. We can then go into our main sheet. We'll just rename that so we know what it is. And if we look up in the uh, in the objects menu, I uh, throw the edit menu. We can't actually select sheet type on this because it's the only normal sheet we have. But uh, if we had other sheets, we could we would see here a dropout box, and this would be selected as normal. Okay, so all we need to do now to use a hierarchy block is click on this button here and we can see that power supply, which matches the name of our hierarchy sheet, hit place and we can see that's that's put in as, as basically like another IC or a component, something like that. We can see our three pins, V supply, ground and five volts. Now, what I'll do just to sort of show you how it works, I'll just drag some random parts in and connect them up. Pretty ugly schematic, <laughs> so don't go building, don't do a try on this at home. Um, and we'll save that onto our desktop. Now, if I go uh, convert to PCB and we wait for that to load up, use our schematic rules, we can see straight away that, what's that what that's actually done is put in all our caps from our hierarchy block, put in our voltage regulator and put in the two or three caps from the other sheet. If we go back to our schematic, we can see those three caps, and then the, this is the voltage regulator part. So what that means is we can basically abstract this whole power supply, and we can change whatever we want in here, and it's not going to impact our, um, our supply. Um, you know, and, and the only thing we need to worry about in the main sheet are these three inputs and outputs. Um, so there you go, that's hierarchy blocks for you.